solitude is an act of charity to yourself. So give generously. Look after you. Invest in you. Give generously to you. That's what my solitude became. And I said on a post recently that loneliness and solitude are two countries whose borders touch. And the passport, the passcode, the tunnel, the way from one country to the other, for me, again, has been through self-awareness. I became aware that my loneliness was not from people. It was from myself. And I became aware that the way to make that a good, not a bad thing, was to pursue and become intentional about solitude and enjoy that emptiness that my lack of self-awareness and self-consciousness called loneliness a problem to fix. That's what self-consciousness does. Self-consciousness makes you conscious of what someone else calls that space. And they said he's lonely, people have left him, he's on his own. Self-awareness made me realize, actually, I am not missing people. I'm missing myself. I'm separate from me. If I reconnect with me, I think I can survive hundreds more of these people going and be absolutely fine. And I was. And I became brilliant at saying goodbye, see you later. Or maybe not. And you can too. I think that's why Jesus, by the way, when Peter said to him, I'll never desert you. I'll never deny you. You can count on me. He said to Peter, no, you will. You'll do it three times before tonight. And that's okay. I know you're overpromising and you can't deliver because you tend to do that, Peter. That's okay. I don't rely on you. I know I'll die alone and I'm okay with that. And so he managed to not believe these people. And so must you.